All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One, if you have one. And today, oh boy, today we got a special cigar that have a lot of hype around it. I've been, I'm late to the party, but hey, I got it. It's the SP1014, Love and Passion. Good looking cigar. Here's a wrapper. There's a closed foot. And here's the cigar. Here's the band. Love and passion. So yeah, there's a lot of hype around the cigar right now. And I cannot wait to see how it tastes like. Nothing on a wrapper. Maybe a little tobacco. Close but can't smell anything. All right, let's cut it and light it. Nice clean cut. The cigars feel very solid though, like packed everywhere. There's no soft spot. So the call draw. It's close. <laughs> All right, let's light it. Creamy, a little red pepper spice on the retro hill. Very creamy, very oily smoke around the mouth. I like that. It makes me salivate. Slight mustiness. A little cedar. I love that creaminess. Very good start so far. Like bready graham cracker. And that's it for the beginning. All right, I see you guys. We're right at the end of the first third. All right, guys, welcome back. We are at the end of the first third. This cigar is very natural, sweet tobacco forward, I would say. Cedar, and there's sometimes, I, I love this note. There's sometimes there's this sweet, creamy, black pepper on the finish. I love th that note. It's very interesting to me. I haven't, I haven't had that. A sweet black pepper, creaminess on the finish. It, it pop in and out. I love it. But yeah, it's very sweet tobacco forward, but it's not like a harsh stick or anything. But other than that, I have a lot of cedar. Red pepper spice on the retro hell. A little bit mustiness. There's like a sweet salty finish after the retro hell, which is, it's like when I'm talking, the, the breath, kind of like a black pepper breath which i like that too very interesting very good cigar so far other than that that's it for the first third i see you guys at the second third right at the band come on sanj but solid. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the second third. So, sweet tobacco, a mustiness with a black pepper on the retro hell. 
Black pepper with a sweet musty on the retro hello as well. Graham cracker on the finish. Yep, that's it for the second third. The cedar leather oak oak wood. And a lot of like red spice on the pella as well. Very enjoyable, very good, especially for the price. For the price, it's pretty good. All right, here's the band. The band SB1014 Red Love and Passion. So, what I know about the cigar is. But what I heard about the cigar is there's three year age tobacco, four year age tobacco, and five year age tobacco into, into the cigar. And you definitely taste the aged tobacco. Definitely. I love the mustiness, the little funky mushroom sweetness with a graham cracker salty sweetness as well. Yeah, right now the black pepper is gone, which is like, what? What? It just transitioned. The black pepper is gone. They're just sweet mustiness, sweet natural tobacco, graham cracker, creamy, creamy salt around your palate. Wow, that's good. That's that right there, that puff. Yep. Wow. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. All right, guys. We're back at the end of the cigar. So nothing really changed much, but <clears throat> there's still no black pepper on retro hell right now. It just have that sweet mustiness, sweet natural tobacco. And there's a lot of like baking spice just lingering on the finish after the smoke is gone. Yeah, and it had that nice, sweet, creamy black pepper on the finish as well. With the musty, sweet, musty, sweet, natural tobacco. It's a very good cigar. But yeah, no, no black pepper, no pepper at all on the retro, even at the end. All right, so... I would rank the cigar 1 to 10, 7.5. Pretty good cigar for the price. You can't really. I smoke more cigars for a higher price. So I'm just saying. And that'd be it for me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, very good cigar. All right.